What is up guys, this is Kiran here. Welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. You already saw the title. This is a CF based Android version 11 for Redmi Note 8 users with moon based kernel. A very interesting kind of a battery backup. I'm using it from some time. This is quite satisfied. I have installed this moon based kernel. Let me show you by going to my Android version. This one is the moon based kernel which I have installed on my Redmi Note 8. This one is the latest Android version 11 based CF ROM which can be installed on your Redmi Note 8 if you are using it it's quite good custom room using some using from some time it didn't got any major issues performance is good also battery backup i already told you a lot more things you get here i'm going to share with you the installation and review of this build so make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started guys i already made a video on this cf base room till now but i was not able to test the battery backup for that so now that's why i have the installed this custom kernel here moon base kernel is not pre-installed i've installed it as a custom kernel and also made some changes and yes it's working fine here let me show you my battery stats first of all you can see active drain is only 8% per hour and idle drain is 0.27% per hour yesterday night it was at 83% and when i woke up it was at 82% so battery backup is just great the idle drain is only 0.27% per hour which means i just got only 1% drain in whole night which is quite great and let me show you my battery backup I, I charge my device to 91% so which means it's just 29% used till now and if we talk about the battery backup you can see screen usage since full charge is more than 3 hours and 30 minutes which means almost nearby 4 hours and almost you can say 30% and Redmi Note 8 which has a 4000mAh battery the battery backup is honestly quite good you'll get more than 10 hours or maybe 11 hours screen on time very easily so which is quite satisfied you can use this build as a daily driver also using from some time didn't got any major issues i'm using the google apps build here which has the pixel launcher pre-installed as expected if you go for the home settings you can see go to about phone this one is the google pixel launcher which is pre-installed if you go here we also have the option of widgets and styles and wallpapers where we have the come live living universe and some wallpapers i have no internet connection so that's why i've not i was not able to show you but we have these all live wallpapers available if you want to apply these live wallpapers you can apply them but of course i'll not recommend you to use live wallpaper cause of battery backup uh, you can see battery drainage or also some lags would be there if you use a live wallpaper it's better not to use the live wallpaper also have this google pixel feed which was expected also going for the things which you get here the smoothness is quite good and as i already told you i've installed a custom kernel which is working fine here moon based kernel is a kernel which i have installed i'll provide a link in the description for moon based kernel also let's take a look at some a little bit of more things which you get here as i previously told you we have uh, this kind of settings options available where wi-fi bluetooth etc seems to be working they got any major issues screen recording option is available here too you can simply record the screen without any issues you'll see this timer here screen recording is working fine here and it does not it has no major issues you might get some little bit of issues because android 11 is still in early stage so you can wait a little bit of more for proper day-to-day -day usage based custom room if you want to get apps and notification also includes those notification history options because this is android version 11 so that's why these are the options available also let me show you one thing if you go for your power menu you have these settings this is not by default you can see my video i have a video on that that how you can get these kind of things on your power menu and yes this is working fine on android version 11 so this is also quite interesting here if you want to try out these kind of things you'll be able to do that battery backup i already shown you going for the display settings has same kind of things but also includes some little bit of theming which includes the asin color body fonts icon shape and icon pack related customizations but other things this uh, this room does not come with many customizations honestly you can see no customization not a single customization even it does not come with the face lock but that is also not a big issue so you can simply survive without that xiaomi parts also available like me sound enhancer and something like that if you want to check out full review of this build i have a video on that make sure to check out that one let's take a look at some uh, things which you need to do you just need an uh, a file called cf kingo 11 the file link is in the description you can go and check it out and how to install that just boot into custom recovery let me boot my custom recovery first it does not include the advanced power menu options by going here you only have the power menu and a restart so for advanced power menu i have an app called reboot tools i'll be rebooted into recovery very soon 
this boot into custom recovery in my case i'm using orange fox custom recovery here you can use other custom recoveries also like the pbrp or the twrp whatever suits you but i'll prefer orange fox custom recovery and i'll recommend you to use orange fox custom recovery because that's quite stable and also has some advanced feature so as you can see i boot into custom recovery what we need to do is first of all let's go here Galway catch system vendor data all these things we need to swipe to wipe for first and after doing this what you need to do is you need to install this room the room has two builds if you want to install the google apps build you can install that one if you want to install the normal vanilla build you can use that one in my case i've installed this one wait let me show you this one is cf QSSI Gingo 11.0 gapps.zip I'm using the Google Apps build you can use any other zip also it all depends upon you whatever suits you you can choose that one swipe to install okay after that what you need to do is just go here you need to go to format data yes and click on format data yes and this is for all those users if you're encrypted if you're not encrypted if you're decrypted you don't need to do this you just need to flash the disable dm verity dot zip which is the file you need wait let me show you this is the file which you need because if you are decrypted but if you are encrypted like me you need to format data and reboot this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and get back